Good morning. Wake up, people. It's time to get up and pray. Press in. To press back what's pressing against you, it's time to enter in. It's time to burn and shine. It's time. South Jersey Blaze. Good morning. Good morning, Nikel. Shekata Rokoto. Sight for sore eyes on Sunday, you were. You have a blinding headache. Yes, I woke up with a blinding headache. We're going to come against that in the name of Jesus. I break every assignment against minds, hearts, bodies in Jesus' name. Woshokoto Rakatam Blishte. South Africa, good morning. Buffalo, New York, good morning. Come on, Decatur Blaze. Share this with your friends, invite your followers. We're going to start in about one minute. 59, 58, 57. Share, follow, invite. Do what you gotta do, get the word out. Wake your people up. Van Buren Blaze, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. Senior leader at the Awakening House of Prayer in South Florida. Come see me. Love to meet you in person. And the founder of the Ignite Prophetic Network. Today's devotion titled, Encourage Yourself in Me. Encourage Yourself in Me. Here's what I heard the Lord say. Be encouraged today. Let me encourage your heart. What's difficult for you is not difficult for me. Lean into my grace and you will be empowered with everything you need. You are already equipped to meet every challenge that comes your way, says God. You are an overcomer, says the Lord. I abide in your spirit, and I am greater than any enemy that comes against you. Know this, and do as David did. Encourage yourself in me. I am with you. We must remember that. See, what we remember is very, very important. And I want to speak with you more on this topic later. What will you remember? What will you choose to remember? Today's scripture references 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6, Psalm 23, and Proverbs 30, verse 5. And the prayer starter for today, nothing is too hard for you. When I, and when I stay focused on your word and your will and your love, nothing is too hard for me. 
when I when the enemy comes against me like a flood stir my heart to encourage myself in you and with your word father I thank you this morning for your goodness I thank you Lord that you are a God who encourages us to continue pressing who encourages us to continue running the race who encourages us to tap in to the grace of God that dwells on the inside of us you are the ultimate encourager you are the ultimate edifier you are the ultimate comforter you are awesome you are mighty we give you praise we sing your praises this morning there's no other God like you there is no other God like you no one compares you are worthy of it all oh God help us to just stop singing songs about you and get into your presence for real and experience that about which we sing help us Lord not to be those who quote scriptures from memory but don't understand the revelation behind the word God would you bring us deeper would you help us Lord to die to self I thank you Lord this morning we're pressing in come on we're going deeper we're pressing through some of you need to press in the Lord shows me others need to press through some of you need to press in and others need to press through some of you are in it you're in it you're in very deep and you've come against some obstacles you've come against some warfare you've come against your flesh oh shakata and this morning it's time to press through it's time to break on through to the other side come on it's time to break out it's time to break through it's time to come over I thank you Lord I thank you Lord yeah crossing over I heard the Lord say crossing over come on prepare yourself because you're about to cross over prepare yourself because you're gonna cross over you're gonna do it yeah there's a war yeah there's resistance yeah there's enemies yeah there's oppositions yeah there's challenges and 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 so what I thank you Lord greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world I thank you Lord that you you have made us more than conquerors more than conquerors super conquerors I thank you Lord I thank you Lord we're like we're like super abundant over and above we thank you Lord come on some of you need to press in you need to press into the place that God has called you to he's calling you deeper 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 but fear has held you back in flesh has held you back in familiarity has held you back oh Jesus would you help us not not to not to not to bow to those things not to think we have so much familiarity with the father that we are not in awe of you God would you help us this morning some of you need to press in you need to press in you need to press in there's some things you need to press past you need to see things you need to press through we're gonna press we're gonna press we're gonna press we're gonna press and keep on pressing no spots no wrinkles on us we're gonna press we're gonna press we're gonna keep on pressing thank you Jesus Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord this morning you are good we're going to press we're going to press we're gonna press Lord give us the strength to press we thank you Lord we have the grace to press we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us all things through Christ who gives you strength he is your strengthener he is the one that moves you from strength to strength I see some of you out there and you're feeling weak need you're feeling feeble you're feeling like you can't press you're feeling like you can't push you're feeling like you can't persevere oh but you can I, I, I said you can God pour out your spirit upon us today break off the weariness God strengthen the feeble knees God those that have been disjointed God give them the Holy Ghost chiropractic adjustment put their bones back in place put the joints back in place I thank you Lord I thank you the Lord is showing me some of you have been disconnected from that which you're supposed to be connected from and it's not because you've disconnected yourself it's because the enemy has put in a wedge the enemy has has put some things out of joint but the Lord wants to reconnect the Lord wants to uh, wants to see that yeah yeah that's what it is it's like there's a supply that you feel like you don't have any longer there was a, maybe a friend there was maybe a, a, a family member there was there was maybe uh, there, there's some kind of connection and it's been disconnected and the supply that you felt the supply of grace the supply of friendship the supply of finances what is it whatever it is the enemy has come to try to disconnect something that God has connected you to and you felt a disjointing you felt that disconnect you felt, come on God wants to reconnect some things today he wants to heal some things today some of you it's almost like you've been walking with a limp in the spirit because something has come out of joint something has just been uh, uh, just out of whack because the enemy has come and attacked it and I just I just 
just see it just sort of limp it along just sort of limp it along and some of you have fallen into self-pity oh don't don't get mad at me now I'm trying to help you some of you have fallen into self-pity because I see it I see it I see it you used to run full speed you used to run guns blazing you used to run just oh just 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 with 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 all of the wind of God behind you but then something came and attacked you and it's been a little out of joint and you don't know how to walk this way because that one you were walking with or that thing you were carrying that whatever it was that God gave you whatever it was whatever it was whatever it was the enemy attacked and it just seems as if you just you just can't go on you just can't walk the way you used to walk it's not as much fun anymore as it was it doesn't it doesn't have the same grace the anointing doesn't seem to be there but God is reconnecting don't give up now I shake it come on don't give up now don't press don't don't fall back press in don't shrink back press forward don't give up now God I thank you for reconnections I thank you for divine reconnections divine realignments divine adjustments God would you just Lord help us Lord help us Lord help us Lord to get things back in line to reconnect thank you Lord thank you Lord some of you just need to humble yourselves y'all don't like it y'all don't like me today that's all right I like me I like me and God likes me some of you need to humble yourselves maybe it wasn't you maybe some of you even quit a job I see somebody you quit a job because you just thought you had enough of it but it wasn't time for you to quit and your job is still there but you need to go back and humble yourself and say boss I made a mistake that's hard to do isn't it some of you need to go to people and just humble yourselves and say whatever I did I'm willing to make it right I don't even fully understand it but whatever I did to bring this wedge whatever I, I I'm willing to make it right some of you just need to humble yourselves humility will cause a reconnect where the enemy brought a disconnect many times some of you just need to just need to get some courage and just come out come back out against the enemy and say no you're not stealing what belongs to me no you're not deceiving this one and that one over here break deception Jesus there's so much going on in the spirit come on thank you Lord for your reconnections thank you Lord for your healing power over over families uh, I, I just see so many issues right now in families the enemy working I can see it now I can see it now I can see it now the enemy working in families I break these assignments over your families come on war with me to disconnect family members to make uh, I hear the word estranged estranged it's when you used to be close but now you're 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 not close anymore you're estranged you're at a distant you're at a distance you, you don't want to come it's like an arm arm's length relationship it's like yeah I'll sit with you I'll sit with you at the family reunion but I don't want to talk to you I'll say hello but I don't want to engage at that deep level any longer because you wounded me you betrayed me you hurt me or maybe it's one that feels you've done that to them and the enemy has worked in perceptions misconceptions some of this is not even real it's not even real it's not even real these offenses it's not even real these feelings they're not real it's not real Lord bring healing even if it is real who cares it's not gonna matter 10,000 years from now it's not gonna matter a hundred years from now it's not gonna matter keep your mind set on things that are above and not on the things that are below God would you help us today to recalibrate to reconnect to restore to reconcile oh gosh shakata I break these assignments over families estrangements I break the the power of this strange estrangement in Jesus name we're not gonna stand by and watch the enemy destroy our families we're not gonna stand by and watch the enemy bring division uh, between uh, flesh and blood Jesus help us help us Lord bring healing to the families in this season God in Jesus name help us Lord help us Lord help us Lord help us Lord the world says forgive and forget we don't have to forget sometimes we can't forget but we sure don't have to remember it Lord these grievances people have put upon us and brought to our doorstep in days gone by would you help us Lord to choose not to remember we might never forget but we don't have to dwell on a thing we don't have to dwell on a thing we don't have to dwell on the thing Lord shows me too many too many some of you listening on this call you're a cave dweller and you need to be a God dweller others you're you're an offense dweller and you need to be a forgiveness dweller 
where are you going to dwell where are you going to abide those who abide in me says the Lord when you abide in me and I abide in you God says ask anything in my name and I'll do it for you I'll give it to you when you abide in me when you dwell in me when we dwell on the Lord we can dwell in the Lord how do you dwell in the Lord how do you abide in the Lord by letting your mind abide on him by letting your thoughts dwell on him dwell on him and you'll dwell in him and then anything you ask it shall be given to you come on stop dwelling stop dwelling stop dwelling on the past on the things of yesterday oh shurakata, on the offenses on the hurts on the wounds It's time to leave it be it's time to let it go I'm praying so good I'm out of breath I love when I pray so hard I'm out of breath come on pray with me I'm passionate this morning I want to see people set free we're gonna press in we're gonna press through we're gonna press past we're gonna press and we're gonna keep on pressing until we're exhausted until we can't press anymore and then we're gonna let God do the rest we're gonna to come to the end of ourselves we're gonna to come to the very end of ourselves that place where we cannot press one more inch and believe for the glory of God to pick us up and take us where only he can take us we're not gonna remember the former things Isaiah remember not the former things 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 behold I do a new thing Oh Jesus we want the new thing but sometimes we don't want to let go of the old thing help us God shake it to the healing over families put us in remembrance of your word God put us in remembrance of your word put us in remembrance of your word we put you in remembrance of your word God we agree with you how can two walk together unless they're agreed we let go today we let go 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 let go we let go we let it go I just see some of your hands you're just clenching so tightly onto something from the past that hurt you that bothered you let it go in Jesus name come on let it go just let it go just let it slip from your hand I can see it I see a picture some of you are a white knuckle ride and you're holding on to the past as if it's for as if your life depended on it let me tell you something your life depends on letting go you're holding on to that offense that grudge that betrayal that hurt that wound whatever it is you're holding on as if your life depends upon it let me tell you something your life in Christ your life in joy your life in peace depends on you letting it go just let it slip out of your hands just let it go would you dear God would you just let it go wonder why you're miserable you wonder why you're not happy you wonder why people don't want to talk to you on the telephone or be around you that bitterness let it go let it go let it go God's not mad at you I'm not trying to be mean to you I'm telling you what I'm seeing in the spirit this might not apply to all of you but I bet you it applies to a good number of you let it go 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 God wants to let you go he wants to to, to to let you go into that next doorway but you can't fit all that unforgiveness through the through the through the uh, uh, through the threshold your forgiveness is blocking your entry your unforgiveness is blocking the entryway to the open door let it go 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 this is the time of the year we sing let it snow how about let it go when you hear that song this holiday season instead of let it snow let it snow let it snow you're gonna hear let it go let it go let it go because God intends for you to walk into the next year free unencumbered open doors are before you will you choose to walk through it it is good let it go 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 the weather outside is frightful but the fire inside is delightful come on the devil might be frightful but the fire of God is delightful come on it's what are you gonna focus on what are you gonna look at what are you gonna remember ha shake it take what are you gonna remember let it go there's open doors for you that baggage from the past season is blocking you it's like you just keep trying to go through the door and you feel resisted it's not God resisting you it's you resisting you oh shakata it's not the devil resisting you it's you resisting you let it go let it go 
Let it go, 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 let it go. Let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. I'm your spiritual personal trainer today. Let it go. I let it go, but it came back. Let it go. One more time. I let it go, but I remembered it again. Let it go. Let it go. Try it again. One more time. Come on, heavy lifting. Posture up. Posture up. Get your form right. Let it go. 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 Can't get through. You can't get through that new gate. Carrying all this junk. Come on. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Jesus, you are worthy of it all. But we don't want to let go of what somebody did to us. Oh, come on. Shake it off. Shake it off. You can lift a little more. I used to have a personal trainer. and He was mean and ornery. I tell him I can't lift anymore. And that was his signal to put on five more pounds. I can't lift this. I can't lift anymore. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. You can lift more. That forgiveness bar, it's heavy. Your soul is like, ah! You can lift more. You can do it. You can do this. God, give us the grace of forgiveness. Lord, you never ask us to do anything that you don't give us the grace to do. I know some people are offended with me this morning. I can feel it. Don't be offended with me. I'm telling you the word of God. I'm trying to get you free. And I'm even getting, Lord is really speaking to me. I've got a word for December. I've kind of already started praying in that vein because it's so vital. I've got a word for December. I'll share it next week. Let it go. God is good. God is so good. God has such a great plan for you, beloved. He has such an awesome future for you. It's so bright. You just got to let it go. All the stuff from the past, would you please, for Christ's sake. He forgave you. Let it go. It is a choice. It is a choice. I'm convinced Many, 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 many people in the body of Christ have ought and they don't even know it or they don't want to admit it. And the church needs to rise up in this hour. But God is not coming back for a bitter, unforgiving church. He's coming back for a glorious bride without spot or wrinkle. No bitter bride. We need a better bride. We want Jesus to come back. We need to get it together. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. I want to do this teaching today. I did not get much sleep last night because those crazy people at Awakening Blaze Tampa are off the charts. All these prophetic acts, keys and walking through doors, people grabbing my key from my neck. Ho, 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 ho. That's my key. Get your own key. Crazy folks there at Awakening Blaze Tampa. My goodness. Marching in and out of doorways like a bunch of crazy people. Hallelujah. Come on now. Prophesying, activating seers. I love activating seers and the seeing anointing. Now that's my new thing. Hallelujah. Activating. You can watch it on Periscope. It was funny. It was good. Yo, dear God, try to take my key. Woman, get your hands off my key. That's my key. Amen. I thought, sure, she's going to take my, it's my key. Nobody takes my key. I have my dream wild key on. Awakening Blaze Tampa, join the movement. Awakening Blaze is a prayer movement proliferating around the world. We're going to be making some changes in structure. We've got regional leaders. But last night's Blaze meeting was really more like an awakening house than awakening Blaze. Because it's not prayer, just prayer. It's body ministry, which is more of an awakening house model. Yeah, that's my key. Praise God. Get your own key. AwakeningBlaze.com. Join the movement. I'm not going to talk about that a lot today. You can get you can get a Dream Wild key on my website, JenniferLeClaire.org. You can get a Dream Wild key like mine, but you can't have my key. I do give away my keys sometimes. The Lord leads me to take my key from around my neck and and give it to somebody. But you can't have my key unless God tells me to give it to you. So keep your hands off my key. Get your own key. You can get your, you can get your key at JenniferLeClaire.org. Your dream wild key, praise God, makes a good, 
makes a good gift, especially for someone that's stepping out. They need to remember. They need to remember. I'm going to talk to you about remembering in a minute. I might write a book on this topic because it's so rich. Seriously, it's so rich. So much there. I was like overwhelmed this morning studying this. I didn't have time to even do it justice, but I want to share with you because I know it's a, a word for today. Praise God. Praise God. Listen, if you want to sow into this ministry, if this is blessing you, if these calls are blessing you, help me. Help me. That doesn't cost me anything to put these on Facebook, but it does. It does. There's many other things that do cost. And propagating this phone call on other platforms is one of the things that costs. Creating a TV show that's going into three quarters of the world in 12 languages does cost. There's many things I do that do cost. I try do so much just as a labor of love because it's my heart. I would never charge for anything except that it costs us money to buy stuff. And these companies just don't seem to be willing to give me free cameras and free internet and free buildings. And people don't, uh, you know, my staff, they have a baby. They don't, they don't want to work for free. So I have to charge for some of the things I do, but most everything I do is free. So I depend on donors. So if you want to help support the ministry and the school and the vision, look, you can do that. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. You can become a partner there. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. You can also go, especially if you're international, this, this is probably better, but it works better, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Eventually, I, I can stop using that because my new website is going to have everything included. Paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give 754-701-2161. Text the word pray to 754-701-2161. Uh, you, Charlene, I got your message yesterday. I was made, made aware of your message. And I've asked Pastor Sierra to get with you today. You can also use the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 3953, Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33008. If you want to send a check. Or, and I appreciate it. I thank you. I could not do what I do without your partnership, your donations. It, it just means everything. So thank you for that. God always rewards those who give. When, you, when you're led by the Lord, when you, when you sow in faith, you will always see a harvest. Always. Always, 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 always. Amen. What do I want to tell you today? Listen, we have a new, um, a new feature on schoolofthespirit.tv. And this is great because it's coming up on Christmas time. You can, you can choose to, to sow a scholarship or a partial scholarship into somebody else's life for any one of these courses. It's a, it's like a gift card. It's like a digital gift card. You can you can decide who it wants to go to, who you want it to go to. You put in their email address, their name. You can sow into a general fund. Just say, you know, I want to bless somebody in China or India who does not have the money to sign up for one of these courses. I just want to be a blessing to somebody, and those funds will go into a general scholarship fund. But you can also do like a School of the Spirit gift card. So you can you can gift a course or you can gift part of a course. Uh, you can gift things there. You go to schoolthespirit.tv. Some of you, some of you are like, you know, see, you know it, let me just say this. I'm not going to say a whole lot about it, but I mean, it's good to get people shirts and coffee and, you know, chocolate and all that stuff's good. There's nothing wrong with that. But some of your friends and some of your family, they don't need one more chocolate bar and they don't need one more shirt. They need to get some Holy Ghost. Amen. So you can go and to schoolthespirit.tv and there's, there's a way there to uh, to gift a scholarship or so into a general fund. And again, you can designate who you want that scholarship to go to. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? Amen? Seriously, some of you need to just go, go to my website and buy somebody mornings with the Holy Spirit for Christmas. Maybe they stop being so cranky. Praise God. Some, some of y'all need to buy, you know, buy, 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 whoever you buy them from, some of you just need to buy spiritual gifts this year. If you know somebody, they have everything, you know what they can always use more of? God. You know, they can always, what they always need more of, revelation. Amen? Praise God. Anyway, you can do that. I want to bring your attention to 365prophetic.com. It's a, a website. I'm the editor of this new website. I've got a couple of associate editors that are on board. 365prophetic.com is a property of Impact Awakening Media, which is a company that I own with Ryan Lestrange. So this is a property that uh, that we're publishing 
Uh, go there, check it out, like the Facebook page, follow the Instagram, help us get this off the ground, 365prophetic.com. You find an article there you like, share it. You want to write for the platform, hit the button and, and contact us, and one of the editors, uh, Dawn or Madeline, will, will uh, get back with you. Amen. Praise God. So go, go check that out. Help us get this off the ground. Help us spread the word. It's, there's no cost to it. It's just an online magazine dealing with prophetic words, prophetic teachings. We've got podcast videos, just really getting that off the ground so we could use your help with that if, if these kind of things interest you. My articles will appear there. Still on Elijah List. I'm still on Charisma, but this is my own thing now that I'm focusing on and would love your support in that. Amen. Praise God. I'm sure there's a lot of other things I need to share with you. I don't know what they are. I cannot remember. Uh, I, I do remember I have a teaching on remembering, but I don't remember what else I'm supposed to share with you. What up? IgniteNow.org. Yes, that is my network. That is my network. We're going to be doing a relaunch. I don't say relaunch as if we're relaunching it, but a, a, re, a, a, a relaunch with a new, with an expanded vision, an expanded strategy. Ignite Now is a network of prophetic people. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. Chuck Pierce is coming to South Florida to my church. We're probably going to end up having to rent a facility. We need to lock in that facility soon before before it's too late. Um, I don't know if even it was possible to get a facility at this late date. But Chuck Pierce is coming down uh, December the 14th. We're having a conference on the 14th and the 15th. And uh, you want to get in on this. Some of you just need to fly down. I mentioned this to you before. I'm going to mention it a few more times between now and the 14th. Some of you just need to fly down and be part of this. Uh, some of you can watch it on ahop.tv. You can register to watch it there. Uh, but if you want to register, um, there is a cost for the ticket for this because we're probably going to have to rent like a $10,000 or a $5,000 uh, uh, venue because our venue won't be big enough. And so normally we don't charge for our conferences. A lot of people do charge fees for their conferences. I'm not against that. It costs money to do these things. And then sometimes you have a conference and you get real stingy people who don't sow anything into the offering and you end up going into the hole. And how many of you know we need to make sure that we bless Chuck and, and we can't we don't want to, you know, go and spend all of our, our reserve funds doing it. We'd like the people to support this. He doesn't ever come to South Florida. I think the closest he's been to South Florida is Satellite Beach, and that's Central Florida, just 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 a little south of Central Florida. So Chuck Pierce is coming. Ken Malone will be with me. Gigi Borrego will be doing worship. And uh, if you want to register, go to my Eventbrite, JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com, and register there. It's not a not a large fee to register, but uh, we're going to probably have to rent a, vi a facility, and we don't want to go in the hole trying to bless South Florida. Amen. The thing about South Florida many times is people people tend to be stingy, and they tend to be greedy, and they want everything for nothing. And that's why a lot of ministers don't come down to South Florida because you know it's really hard to uh, to sustain that kind of thing in that kind of environment. But we are asking you to to support this. Uh, it's going to be a just a blowout. The theme of the conference is prophetic glory. And uh, so you can register for that, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. If you want to watch it on Awakening House of Prayer on, on, uh, on live stream, it's ahop.tv, ahop.tv, amen? So you can do that. Um, yeah, Ignite is my prophetic network. Chuck will be praying over me on that day. If you're part of Ignite, um, this is a big deal for you if, because whatever the ones I'm aligned with and, be, get, and partaking of their anointing, it's trickling down to you as well at some measure. And so all of you at Ignite, you should be celebrating this right now. And if you can make it down, you should. I know it's holiday season, but you can watch it online anyway. And you can support it that way. You can pray. And I'm praying for you. Ahop.tv. So you Ignite members, get down here if you can. This is a big deal for you as well. Amen. Uh, praise God. What else do I have for you? I don't know. The prayer and mentoring. This thing is filling up fast. Prayer and mentoring and intercession. Please, if you want to get in on this, get in on it now. Uh, please do not. We've had several people do this, and it really grieves my spirit. I mentioned this before, but I'm shocked. Don't sign up to get the free downloads and then email us three days later and say, oh, I changed my mind. Listen, if you want the free the free ebooks, that bad, just email our office. Don't make me have to pay a web developer to go take you out of the system. Don't 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 like burn into our 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 ministry funds because you, you want free books and you just I mean, seriously, that's just lacks integrity lacks integrity don't do that 
If you really want to be part of don't take somebody else's spot because you want free ebooks. Just if you want it that bad, email our office. I'll give it to you. But please do not lack integrity because what I'll do is I'll mark you. And unless you repent, you won't be allowed to sign up for anything I do anymore because you're taking someone else's spot. You're, call, you're costing us money and you're lacking integrity. And I don't want people in my networks. I don't want people in my schools that lack integrity. Amen. Praise God. I don't mean to be rude, but dear Lord, if you want the free stuff that bad, just ask for it. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. What else do I have? I think that said I want to get into this teaching. There's so much going on, but I wanted to mention the, that 365 prophetic thing today as well as the school, the spirit gift cards that we have for you. My new website's almost done. I'm like chomping at the bits. It's so beautiful. I want to release it to you. But it'll be done soon. I mean, there's bugs and new things that have to be worked out. God is good. Let me teach you this about remembering. This is a surface level teaching. <laughs> but it blew me away today when I was reading the word. How many of you got to read the word? Today I want to talk to you about this topic. What will you choose to remember? You have a choice about what you think about. You have a choice about what you dwell on. You have a choice about what you will remember. I was reading this morning in the book of Joshua. In the book of Joshua. And you remember, it starts off, Moses, my servant, is dead. And he gives Joshua, the Lord God Almighty, gives Joshua a charge. And as part of that charge, he says to Joshua in Joshua 1 and verse 13, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, the Lord your God is giving you the rest, is giving you rest and is giving you land. So when Joshua set out in this transition, when Joshua set out to take on this new authority, this new mantle, this new commissioning, this new mandate, this new mission, he had to remember something. He had to remember the charge. He had to remember the word which Moses prophesied. He had to remember that. Now, he could, have, he could have remembered a lot of things, but he had to choose to remember the mission. When God sets you out on a new assignment, you must remember the word that came unto you saying. You must remember that when the hands were laid on you. You must remember what the spirit of the, of the living God said to you. You must remember the past prophetic words. You can choose what you're going to remember. Look here. Numbers 11 and 5. Now, this was after the Israelites came out of Egypt, and they didn't like what they found. They were in transition, and they didn't like the condition of the transition. You understand? They did not like the conditions of their transition. They, weren't, they, they, they wanted so badly to escape from Egypt, to escape from the bondage of slavery. They wanted so badly to be free to worship the Lord. But then they got out into the wilderness, and they did not like their living condition. And so here in Numbers 11:5 it says we remember the fish which we freely ate in Egypt the cucumbers the melons the leeks the onions and the garlic. Now they didn't remember the bondage. They didn't remember having to make bricks without straw. They didn't remember all the the oppression of Pharaoh. All of a sudden all that bondage was a distant memory. And because they didn't like their living condition in the wilderness Oh, we remember the fish. Oh, we had fish and we had cucumbers and we had, oh, we had a big picnic in Egypt. It was so glorious in Egypt. Give me a break. Sometimes we come out of a thing and we all of a sudden forget how bad it was and how badly we wanted to be delivered from a thing. And we look back at that thing with a longing. It's a demonic longing. Are you hearing me? Don't go back. Job 21 verses 5 and 6. Look at me and be astonished. Put your hand over your mouth Listen, even when I remember, I am terrified and trembling takes hold of my flesh. See, there are certain things. God doesn't want you to remember them. The devil wants you to remember them. Job was remembering all the things that happened. He said, when I remember, remember, he lost his, his, his children. He lost his livestock. He lost everything that he owned. He lost everything that he had. The only thing was left over was his wife who said, curse God and die. That's all he had left. His health had diminished. He said, even when I remember, I'm terrified and trembling takes hold of my flesh. Don't remember the torment of the enemy that has come upon your life. Don't remember. Don't dwell on it. Don't think about it. Don't, 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 don't. Many times we go through warfare and all we want to talk about is what the devil is doing. Remember the Lord. 
Psalm 40, 42, verses 3 and 4. My tears have been my food day and night, while they continually say to me, Where is your God? When I remember these things, I pour out my soul within me. There are some things that you'll remember, and it'll cause great sorrow, great grief. And you'll cry, and you'll cry, and you'll don't remember all those things. Don't stir yourself up in your emotions. Stir yourself up in your most holy faith. Dear God, I could sit back and think about some things that have happened. All right, now I'm in the process of, of packing to move. And in this process of packing to move, I'm coming across many old things. All of my daughter's old baby stuff and, and all of these things in boxes I haven't opened in years. And it stirs emotions. Now I can choose to remember some of the bad things that happened. I can choose to remember the Lord. It's up to us what we choose to remember. Psalm 106 verse 7. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders. They did not remember the multitude of your mercies, but they rebelled in the sea. See, when you don't remember the Lord, when you don't remember what he's done, you don't act right. When you don't remember the goodness of God, the grace of God, you shrink back from the warfare. When you don't remember what he's delivered you from, you'll go back to it like a dog returns to his vomit. Dear God, help us. Here's what we need to do instead. First Chronicles 16 and 12. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. First Chronicles 16, verse 15. Remember his covenant forever, the word which he commanded for a thousand generations. Numbers 4 and 14. Remember the Lord, great and awesome, and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. Psalm 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Psalm 78, 35. Then they remembered that God was their rock and most high, the most high God, their redeemer. What are you going to remember in the middle of the warfare? What are you going to remember the last time the devil beat you down? Or are you going to remember that you're a child of God, that you're no longer a slave to fear, that you're no longer a slave to sin, but you're a slave to righteousness? What are you going to remember when all hell breaks loose against you? You've got to remember the covenant. You've got to remember the blessings. You've got to remember the promises. What are you going to do when those memories from days gone by come back to try to bring you back into that emotional instability? You've got to remember God healed you. He healed you. He healed you. You can be healed from a trauma and the memory still try to come back because it's the devil bringing the memory. You got to cut off that line in Jesus name. What will you choose to remember? Come on. What will you choose to remember? Listen, I've said this before. God does not forget your sins. He just chooses not to remember them. He says, I will remember them no more. It's not that he has amnesia. It's not that he can't recollect it. He just doesn't choose to. What will you choose to remember? Mashti. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you today. Father, I thank you for the anointing that breaks the yoke. I thank you, Lord, that we will choose to remember the covenant. We will choose to remember the Lord God Almighty, his delivering power, his healing power, all of the things he's done for us in the past. We will encourage ourselves in the Lord by remembering the testimonies of days gone by of his greatness, of his intervention. Ah, Sharakata, the divine intervention of the Lord, his blessings, his mercy. Oh, all the things you've blessed us with God. We will remember you. We will choose not to remember. We will not have a demonic longing to return. Oh, my God, I just got a revelation. We will not have a demonic longing to return to things of yesterday, reconcile with people and things from the past that have no life in them anymore for you, for me. We will not do it. We shall not do it. We shall remember the works of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You can find me online at jenniferleclair.org. Be sure to sign up for my newsletter. I love you guys. Praise God. Let's go back into worship. Isn't that a good word? I'd like to write a whole book on that. It's so rich, so deep. There's so much there. I studied that this morning for about 45 minutes, just pondering on that, just meditating upon it, just thinking and praying, dear God, I couldn't even get through it all. There's so much there. God is good. God is good. God is good. I'm reading about Reese Howell, The Intercessor. I don't know if you've read that book. We're going to go back into worship. <laughs> 